My name is uh, uh, Don Roberts and this is uh, my student Keith Lowry. Uh, today we're going to do a short video for you uh, that relates to an article that we have coming out of the, uh, the OKU newsletter uh, in December uh, entitled Some Thoughts on Kusanko. Uh, the thrust of the article is that Kusanku, although it appears uh, very complicated and uh, difficult to perform as well as difficult to figure out what the moves are for, uh, if you try to break down the moves and make them uh, simplify them, then you have something that's really valuable. You have an encyclopedia of self-defense. So we're going to do uh, first a couple of uh, moves out of Kusanku and then some applications. I'm not saying that these are the only explanations. These are just some explanations uh, that you can use with the Kusanku movements. So, okay. uh, starting from this movement in the in the kata. We start with like a lapel grab here and you can slap here to start to prevent being hit here. If you start with the hand here that's coming up here, use it to make contact with this thing and grab it. Then instead of chopping or doing whatever with the hand like this, if you step away from the attack, come over here and make the same motion here. Now, that motion's pretty much complete. I mean, I can move him around some, but he is, he is definitely out of the action right now. So, these are pretty much the same motion exactly as in the kata. Then, from here, you're coming here with a back fist. If this time you have like a punch with the other hand, you can deflect here, grab here, okay, and then move the hand down. So, it kind of pulls it out of the way, plus it screens any counterattack you might have. Okay, from here, this hand can then come up and do a back fist strike, as opposed to maybe a block here. So if he's punching again, nice technique. From the kata then, you have a movement here, stepping here, and also follow with what looks like a, a side block. The stepping may be a little bit problematic, but if you're here from here, you can do that. You can move in here, you step on the foot, you can do a lot of stuff with that little motion right there. Now, the movement from here, where you're moving back here, like so, if you think back to the kind of wansu, where you have a cross punch here, you can use the same application from that move right there where you're grabbing the hand here, moving it out of the way, and now you have a straight shot into a body target or a head shot like so. So, that will be. And if you want to follow that up with a smash to the head, you can do that also. Okay, then here. So again, this is uh, something you see in Choki Motobu's uh, 12 uh, techniques, which is like uh, someone's uh, doing face punch, boom, here, and what you do is you intercept the punch, lifting your, lift your punch here like so, and then again, you can follow it so right there. Now you have a directional turn. Here. That can be someone that's uh, from behind, but this time we're going to be thinking about the person being in front of you instead of behind. It's kind of important for understanding to find out where the bad guy is supposed to be. So this time he's doing a middle punch, middle punch, I'm sorry. Here. Now, in the movement here, you step around into a T stance. So I'm grabbing the sleeve here. Moving around like so. This would be my stack, where I've got his arm would be my stack. I can smash him on the back of the head here. Or I can kick out the leg like so. Okay. Now, if I don't feel like I'm done with him, I can use this as a continuation. I'll come up here, grab him by the throat, turn him around here, which is unbalancing him. Then 
like him as he goes to the ground. You have three of these. This is one, two, three. These used to bother me because I really couldn't see a very good application for them. Maybe I couldn't see chasing someone up on the floor like that with my hand moving like so. So, thanks to uh, my friend Ian Abernathy, who uh, has this technique as one of his uh, mainstays in his classes that he teaches. I'm going to bother since the Abernathy's uh, techniques are here. He's got a face punch here. That's the hand technique right there. On the other side, like so. So then, from having something that's really not, doesn't seem like it's worth anything, you have a great technique. You have a great self-fit technique. So, but notice it's pretty much simple. It's simplistic. It's not complicated. It's not bizarre. So hopefully this will help you in your studies to understand the Katakusenku uh, more completely. So thank you. Thank you very much, Tucson.